Hey YouTubers, what's up? Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on an application called Splashtop. Some of you might know it as Splashtop Desktop Remote or Splashtop Streamer. What it refers, kind of the same application. But, first of all, I got my computer running. And down here I have my tablet. Which, some of you might be wondering, what the heck is that? That's actually a BlackBerry tablet or BlackBerry Playbook. It's not an Android device. It's not an iPad. It actually runs on its own operating systems called QNX. But, let's go ahead and get into it. Down here is what the application looks like. It has a computer and a little tablet on it. It says HD and it has like a little puddle splash. But, when you launch it, actually I downloaded this off the app world for five bucks. A lot of people in the BlackBerry community were bitching about the tablets not having a remote desktop manager. Well, a lot of people just wanted the straight up Windows desktop manager. And actually, from reading into that, I don't know why they would want to spend seven bucks for that app when they can get this for five bucks and the amazing thing about this, it streams video and sound at the same time. But when you start up the application, this is what you get. It automatically finds, well, when you're at, on your own connection, it automatically finds your computer for you. Mine's the Matthews Mac Mini. So when you click that, normally it would pop up and ask for a password. But I have a setup where I don't have to ask for a password. And the other great thing about this application is... A lot of times when you do that, the the tablet will have to work around the computer's resolution. So on your tablet, you might have a huge screen, and you have to pan around it. Well, good thing about this application is, as you can tell, it fits all my 7-inch BlackBerry Playbook. But when you go up to the computer, instead of having the tablet work around the computer, the computer actually works around the tablet's resolution so everything matches up perfectly I mean yeah I mean right there that's pretty fucking awesome but as you can tell right here you know I got my dock all down below have access to my apps on my background I mean this thing is just sweet I can open up app world no it loads right on my playbook I can open up safari but the weird thing is you know it's doing it exactly on the computer also. But the thing with me, since I have it hooked up to my computer, I mean, to my TV, I just shut my TV off, and yeah, it works perfect. I don't have to worry about leaving a monitor on the whole time. I have access to all that crap, you know? I can I can come over here to Netflix. It'll eventually load. But um, as you can see, it's a little bit laggy, and that's just because it's going over Wi-Fi. And I got other crap uh, running off my Wi-Fi right now. But, let's just go ahead and try to stream a video for you guys so you can see how well it does it. I have no idea how they stream the sound I heard. I read something where it automatically turns on your internal microphone on your computer. Well, my computer doesn't have an external microphone, but... I sit here and I get sound through it. If you want to, but it oh, see now it's kind of laggy compared to the TV and everything. TV's going just fine. But after I know it works out its little laggy issues, it's honestly not bad. And that is streaming Netflix over a remote desktop manager and everything. And also, yeah, as you can hear. The sound even comes out of it also. I mean, that's pretty damn awesome. One of the, the bad things about this is, you know, with the Mac, you get these little tiny little circles you have to hit. That's actually a big pain in the ass. Goddamn dogs barking. Ah. Uh, it'll actually go, I, looking up at my computer... I should have hit it. Oh, actually, I didn't hit it. I didn't it. Though. I mean, it has there we go. Um, let's do iTunes.
said go. It's up on the computer already. There we go. So if you can't see anything, you know, just whoop. Oops. Zoom on in and we'll play a song. Zoom out. You know what? Oh, sugar dad. They be tricking they tell them here. What other remote desktop manager freaking does that? Yeah, that's what I thought. But, I don't know what else to go over this. I mean, if you guys got any questions, just leave it in the... Leave a comment, I'll try to answer back. But, I mean, basically, this... The basic concept, concept of it is... This application mirrors your computer and automatically transfers it over Wi-Fi to your whatever tablet you use. Like I said, you can um, Splash Top is available on Android, all Android tablets, Windows. Not, uh, sorry, take that back. Web OS tablet and the iPad, of course, BlackBerry. Um, I'm not sure how much those are. In my description in the app world says it was marked down from twenty dollars to five dollars. So I paid five dollars. I'm not sure how much anybody else would pay it. Oh, something else that just crossed my mind. A lot what the things that a lot of people were complaining though was they just because the thing some Windows Seven computers has has it built in. So all you have to do is download an app. You don't have to worry nothing about it on the computer side. It's automatically up auto, automatically up there and working. But um bad thing about this yes you do have to download something off the internet and basically I'm gonna try to do it here on my tablet if I launch my apps should go there we go um that is what I what you actually have to get onto their website and download. It's called Splash Op Streamer, which is like I said, it's on your computer, and that's what streams it. Um, basically, once it's running, it will just be on your top bar. Come on, and it'll look like a freaking splash. It's going. You're being slow. Last night when I downloaded it, actually wasn't being this slow. Um, as you can tell, I'm only on half signal, so. But um, you can turn it off. You can quit. You can check for updates. You can do preferences, and this what pops up. You know, you have your status, your settings, your security, your network, and your about. Well, guys, that's about it. Like I said, if you got any questions, I can X out of this. I'm just going to grab a mouse and do it. Yep, just like that. Um, so like I said, if you got any questions, feel free to ask. Um, just leave it in the comments. I don't got nothing else to say with this other than for five bucks. I mean, come on, dude. That's less than a pack of cigarettes. Just buy it. Like I said, look at all this stuff. And it, oh, it does run with Windows also. That's the other good thing about this. It work, works with Macs and Windows. It doesn't just freaking work with Windows. And the thing is, like, if you have an iPhone, you can download this app on your iPhone. I mean, it'd be... I don't know how easily that would be to use a computer off of a little 3.5-inch display of 3.2, whatever the hell it is. But you can have this exactly on your iPhone if you want to. Well guys, um, check me out in the future. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe, like. I appreciate it all. Catch me in the future uh, later. Hey, I want to show you real quick on how to open stuff at Splash Shop. One tap represents a click. Tap and hold represents a double click and then use two fingers to uh, scroll and three fingers to pan but let's go ahead and show you 
bring up Safari. Let's just go to uh, let's try Mac Rumors. It's a good website to find stuff on about Macs. So again, this is mirroring everything on the computer to my playbook. So how I do, I do scroll. I just grab left thumb, my right thumb, and I just go. That is how you scroll. And zoom, it's zoom should be still the same, pinch to zoom and everything. But to pan, like if you're zoomed in, it will go. Just use three fingers and you can pan around the screen. Kind of forgot to tell you guys about that. But yeah, that's Splash Talk for you guys. Thanks.